please excuse any mispronunciation in this story. I mean no disrespect. This story is about Shan Lee Potter who vanished from Baltimore, Maryland on March 3rd, 1984. She was 13 years old at the time and should be 52 years old now. Shannon lived with her mother in the 2300 block of Foster Avenue in 1984 and she apparently left her residence through her bedroom window during the middle of the night and went to attend a party. She hasn't been seen since. She apparently left a note behind for her mother. She was reported missing afterwards. Investigators originally theorized that Shannon had left on her own accord and was staying with her father or another relative. On March 8, 1984, Shannon's mother received a letter from her and it was postmarked Orlando, Florida. Police received information about a month after her disappearance that she may have been seen in Orlando. She hasn't been heard from since. Shannon was considered a runaway for some years until authorities began to began visiting other possibilities in the case. Shannon made no indication of wanting to run away from her home. Her parents were separated at the time and her father lived in Mississippi. He told police that he and Shannon had been planning for her to visit him over the summer and she was excited for this. She seemed to be in good spirits at the time. But before she went missing, Shannon made several long distance phone calls to Florida, Colorado, and Mississippi but it's unclear if these calls are somehow linked to her disappearance. Due to the lack of details regarding Shannon's disappearance, her case is classified as a non-family abduction. Authorities have publicly stated that they now suspect foul play was involved in her disappearance. Her case remains unsolved. She is a Caucasian female, brown hair, brown eyes, has a small scar above her left eye and a scar on her abdomen. She has previously fractured her pelvis and has undergone plastic surgery. Her hair was said to be collar length at the time of her disappearance. Her clothing was unknown, but she may have possibly had on a white waist length fur coat and a pair of high khaki boots. I would like to believe that someone raised Shannon no matter how she came into their custody and that she survived for the past 39 years and I hope someday she will be found safe. If anybody has any possible leads in this case, please check out the contact information in the description. Thank you.